Uh-huh. I know what you're thinking, ladies and gentlemen. I know you read the title and you're just thinking, no, no. You can't be this level of dumb for people to continue to keep putting out these stories and Jay gets his hands on this and you're just like, are we really this level of dumb? Okay. But before I say some inflammatory things, because I know I'm getting ready to say so, let me give you guys the disclaimer that you might find my content controversial or offensive. The information is coming from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news websites, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinion about the facts of this story. The point is, is to use this as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. This is the subject of this story. And I don't know why this woman looks like, I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, <laughs> When you used to be in grade school and y'all remember they used to have those pencil sharpeners on the wall and you used to have to get up out of your desk, out of your chair and walk across and in front of everybody and walk over to the pencil sharpener and then you stick your pencil in there and you sit there and you just turn the damn thing. You turn the damn thing until you get your pencil nice and sharp. I don't know why to me that's what her face looks like. Her face looks like a nicely sharpened pencil. Just a funny faced it looking woman. And about as dumb as it gets, including that woman right there. I know y'all probably wondering why am I talking about Grandma Casper over here, but we'll get to her here in just a second. But let's talk about this woman because this story is just as dumb as the title suggests. So Daytona Beach, Florida, y'all are taking a huge L for the dumbest story of the year. A Florida mother and grandmother and grandmother in addition, are facing aggravated child abuse charges after police say that she duct taped her children to a chair. Let's pause right there. Let's pause that. She took duct tape and taped them to a chair. And I'm sure some of you guys are wondering, ma'am, why on God's green earth would you do such a stupid ass thing. Want to know what her reasoning was? Check this out. She duct taped her children, plural, to a chair because one of the children stole a moon pie snack that they were not supposed to have. Now let's break out the artillery. Let's break this down. Because I know a lot of people, especially in the black community, I don't know about other communities, y'all can speak on your own community, I'm going to speak on mine, that I know that the black community tends to deal out some harsh punishments for not only breaking rules inside of the house, but when parents tell you not to get into snacks and take food and you sneak it anyway because you're hungry and maybe you just had a sweet tooth, that there are usually dire consequences. Usually, it involves physical abuse, a.k.a. getting your ass whooped with a belt, spanking, some type of punishment, being grounded. Or, <laughs> I guess if you grew up in the white community, it would be, you're going to put little Timmy on timeout. Because <laughs> that's what people tend to think. They tend to think that the majority of white people tend to not discipline their children at all in a physical fashion and I know that that's not the case but I digress I hear a lot of our people say that <sighs> I've heard of a lot of things standing a child in a corner I've heard of it making them do exercises until they get tired to a point of exhaustion yeah I've heard of it uh Taking away their video game systems, maybe take away their cell phone. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe some type of creative discipline when it comes to food. Maybe, maybe you feed them peanut butter jelly sandwiches and water or something. This is a little bit 
I've I, I, I think I've heard of stories like this before, but damn. Who thinks to take their children? Do y'all know how sticky duct tape is? You put that stuff on your skin and try to peel it off. It'll almost rip your skin off. That stuff is industrial strength, not meant to be played with. That is not like, like the Gorilla Glue girl that d decided that she wanted some attention. I don't think she did it as an accident. I think she was a freaking idiot. They took that, that Gorilla Glue and sprayed it all in her damn head because she's a freaking idiot. Knowing that that stuff can ruin your skin. I don't know how you would think to take duct tape. Oh, that's right. For punishment, instead of me saying I'm going to not buy any more moon pies, that might be a punishment. I'm not going to buy any more sweet snacks. Maybe you can't go outside and play with your friends. I don't advocate spanking. I don't advocate that at all. So I'm not saying that's an option. But what the freak are children supposed to learn by being duct taped down to a chair so they can't freaking move? What if they got to go to the bathroom? They're just going to pee and poop on themselves? And I'm sure y'all are wondering why old Casper here is on the screen and why I've got her mugshot up there. Oh, we're going to get into that here in just a se second because grandma is just as dumb as the, ch as the child that she gave. I think she gave birth to her. I think that's her daughter. I don't know. But look, they did. They duct taped these children to a chair because they stole snacks. I don't consider if there's... Here's the way I am as a father. If I have food in the house, you can have access to it. I would encourage you not to do it in excess. You know, don't don't eat the whole pack of them. You make yourself sick. You can end up with toothaches, cavities. But I don't, I don't, I'm just like, maybe I would limit how much I buy, but I'm not going to sit there and punish you in the moment. I think sit there trying to punish people in the moment sometimes might not be the best thing to do as opposed to us trying to figure out creative ways of going forward. Something to think about, but let's keep going. Daytona Beach, uh, Beach police arrived at the home of Yamani Bain, B-A-I-N, who's 30 years old, this dummy right here, after a report from the Department of Children and Families. The report stated that the children's Hands were taped, were duct taped behind their back. And the mother had wrapped one of the kids entire body in duct tape because she was mad. She duct taped one of the children's bodies completely. Because she was mad about a goddamn moon pie? Is it that serious? I don't care whether you said they can have it or whether they can't have it. That don't mean that you go off and, and, and go get, get to be the dunce of the day. That's just freaking stupid. According to a charging affidavit, police spoke with the grandmother by the name of, y'all need to catch her name. Let me get this on the screen. Y'all are never going to believe grandma's name. Let me get this on the screen. Y'all are never going. I want y'all to think about it. We got moon pies on the screen, right? <laughs> you might not be able to see this. Unless you got a really good resolution on your phone or your on your TV. The grandmother's name is Frances Chu. C H E W. 
How freaking ironic. Francis Chu, as in chewing moon pies. That, as you can see, I brought up her actual document. I made sure that that was actually her. Last name is Chu. Isn't that something? The one thing they don't want these children to do is Chu, and Chu is grandma's last name. And she was at the home who told uh, three of them, excuse me, police spoke with the grandmother, Francis Chu, at the home who told them the three children had been playing around with duct tape in the kitchen, and they duct taped themselves to a chair. <laughs> My God. Of course, the children did it to themselves. Isn't that something? Yes, she needs to go to jail for lying on the kids. Police reportedly spoke to one of the children prior to coming to the home who told them that Bane, the mother, had bound her and her sisters and brother to a chair as punishment after one of them took a moon pie without her permission. After interviewing the other children, the investigation found that one of them had been duct taped to a wall while others were duct taped to a chair. Chu reportedly helped the mother duct tape the children. So the stupid apple don't far don't fall too far from the stupid tree. So grandma helped her duct tape a child to a wall. How do you even do that? How do you duct tape a human being to a wall? How, Sway? How? <laughs> Man. Thank God that these children were honest. The children did not have any injuries, the report states. Unless, I guess you're not going to count their, their, their mental injuries. They were taken by DCF and they were put in the care of other family members who hopefully don't have any duct tape at home. According to the report, Bain had previously been arrested for child neglect and abuse in Volusia County in 2019. You see how funny that is? How she still didn't lose custody of the kids? And she was arrested for child neglect and, ab and abuse three years ago. But you won't give the biological fathers a chance to raise them, no, huh? We give you the fair usage. Let's go. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use. It is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. Guys, these stories are just coming out of comic books at this point. But if you would, do me a favor and click that thumbs up, share, share this video. We have got the Chewbacca. Oh, my goodness. Somebody in the chat. But we have got to put a stop to this type of stupidity, okay? So make sure y'all share these videos, hit the thumbs up, and leave a comment. Share it, man. Let the world know. Why aren't these videos circulating? Why didn't everybody know about this? Covering Volusia County, a Daytona Beach mother is accused of taping three children to chairs and a wall as a form of discipline. Police say the children's grandmother was also charged in connection. West Street's Claire Metz reports police began investigating after DCF called them several weeks ago. Ms. Bain, uh, you're here on a charge of aggravated child abuse. 30-year-old Yamani Bain made her first court appearance charged with aggravated battery in the case of three of her children under the age of 10. According to a Daytona Beach police report, Bain was angry one of the children stole or snuck food they were not supposed to have. As punishment, Bain allegedly wrapped the children's hands with tape and put their hands behind their back, wrapped one of the children's whole body in tape. Francis Chu. 
The children's grandmother, Frances Chu, was also arrested, charged with child abuse. Following DCF interviews with the alleged victims and an older child who was not involved, police say they learned Chu did not try to stop the children from being taped and assisted their mother in taping the children. According to the police report, the children told a child protective team one of them was taped to the wall and two others were taped to chairs. Police say the mother, Bain, denied taping her children up to punish them. However, police say at one point the grandmother said the children were playing with duct tape and taped themselves. None of the children had any obvious injuries. DCF removed the children from the home and placed them with relatives. At the jail courtroom hearing, the grandmother was released on her own recognizance. The mother's bond set at $15,000. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, WESH 2 News. The fact that she has a previous child abuse charge from 2019, I think that should make it to where that mother, and maybe not even maybe not even the grandmother, but that mother definitely should never have custody of these kids again. Hashtag TTO, she probably should never be able to have kids again. Because all she going to do is just keep abusing them. She clearly don't love them, don't care about them. She should never be allowed to be a parent ever again. Because you can't be this level of dumb. In Volusia County, a mother is accused of duct taping her kids to a chair. It was reportedly the punishment for a stolen moon pie. Police arrested 30-year-old Yamani Bain after a DCF report said that the children's hands were taped behind their backs and one of them had their whole body wrapped in duct tape. Bain is now charged with aggravated child abuse. So again, that's my closing thought. So... I don't know really how much time she should she should do in jail or prison or whatever the case is pertaining to the biological mother. The grandma, I just think she's just flat out just dumb. Just flat out dumb. She definitely doesn't need to be caretaking any more kids. I think she needs to sit and, um, and just continue to live in solitude and look at those four walls in her house until her time is done. I think that'll probably be the best thing for her is just to keep her in isolation. As far as this mother... Man, fellas, we got to start making better choices about what we are placing our penile seeds. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, just. It's a damn shame. Where are the biological fathers? How come they can't come get custody? Talk about they put the kids with family members. How about put them with their daddies? Where the damn daddies at? This would be a perfect time for y'all to step y'all punk ass up. Come get your kids. But will they do that? I guess we will have to find out. But like I said, I don't know how much time in jail she should get. The kids survived. They'll be fine. I, I really, truly believe that. But what their mom did was just flat out callous, dumb, and made absolutely no sense. Dumbest story of the year, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section. And keep these kids in your prayers and hope that they can grow up and become something great. All right? From my heart to yours, love you all. Y'all have a great day. Have a great night. We'll see you on the next story. All right. Peace.